Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop with another review, overview. Just got this in, so I'm bringing it to the channel. I'm going to use it. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to dedicate it to a certain application. Not exactly sure exactly what that is. Let me say exactly one more time to be exact, just to get the point across. But per the title, this is the Streamlight MicroStream USB Rechargeable. Obviously, it is what it implies. It's the micro stream that we all know and love that is good across the board for an EDC light, uh, you know, an EDC bag, a backup light, you know, a, a lightweight hiking light. You know, it's, it's, it's always been a good backup. It's always been a good lightweight. It's always been a good everyday carry on your person type of deal, you know, especially for a pen light. But this year... Streamlight is up in the ante. They've got a USB rechargeable with a much higher lumen count. I'm really liking this, and let's dive right into the features here. When you get it, it comes in this box, little plain white box. Here's some of the specs. That's all that's on there. MicroStream USB black. I guess California. Even you can't have lights in California. That's how restrictive they are. So let's bust into it though. Inside, simple packaging. You get your little lanyard for it. That's nice. They include it. I prefer a shot cord type of deal if I'm putting it on a light. Uh, for previous stated reasons in other videos, you know, you can wrap it around the finger or wrap it around your hand. It, you know, sticks to the hand. You can still manipulate other things, whether it be a firearm, a blade, a vehicle, whatever it is, but they give it to you. Your owner, owner's manual gives you all the information. Nobody really ever reads these things, but it's a good thing to have, and you should probably read it. So there's that. They also include the tiniest micro USB charging cable that I've ever seen. This is obnoxious. Now, given it's not your phone, you're not going to be glued to it. If it's on the charge, it's on the charge. And I'm pretty sure every single person on planet Earth has about 50,000 of these things laying around. They're super common. You can pick them up relatively inexpensively, but they give you one, which is nice. And not only can you use this for the light itself, you could use it for your phone or any other device that takes a micro USB, or you can get adapters and whatnot. So that's included. And then last but least, the actual light itself box is empty there's that we'll leave that in the background i guess for uh your viewing pleasure and here's the light we'll take a look at it nice nice and small nice and lightweight there is the branding right there stream light with the logo the serial number tail cap the pocket clip pocket clip is really really nice i like it a lot because for one it's a deep carry pocket clip you know, all you're going to see out of the pocket is that, which could be a pen, could be a light. Either way, it's not obtrusive. It doesn't scream tactical or anything like that. You know, and, and even if it did, it's just a flashlight. So, you know, who are you going to offend with that? I like how the pocket clip is oriented as well, because not only can you run it in the pocket like you traditionally would, and I also like running my lights uh, bezel down with the tail cap up and protruding, you can use this part of the clip to mount it to a hat or a helmet or something of the sort or clip it onto something else. And now you have an improvised headlamp. And with the light being as short and small and lightweight as it is, it's going to work. And I really, really like that. Take a look at the, the lens. It's not uh, crenulated or anything. It's not necessarily like a striking device. I mean, you, you definitely could hit somebody with this. It's a solid piece of aircraft grade aluminum. You know, it's going to hurt. It's not going to give like flesh and, and, and bone to an extent wood or whatever, you know, of your normal fists, your fingers. So you could use it. It's a little bit short. You might have to choke back on it, but you could, you know, obviously use the tools that you have at your disposal for whatever the situation dictates, dictates, um, but yeah, beautiful LED in there. Uh, it's kind of a more smooth reflector, not necessarily like an orange peel or something like we're normally used to on a lot of streamlight lights, but it is what it is. Take a look here. You're going to be like, oh, well, how do you how do you charge this thing? It's USB rechargeable, right? So where's the charging port? 
Well, what I like about it is it's hidden and it's covered up. And if you can see, it's O-ring sealed. So it is waterproof. IPX, uh, I forget what it is, but it's, it's waterproof, I believe, down to a meter or two for a half an hour, an hour, something like that. The specs are on the website uh, and many other places that sell these things, but that's very nice. Plus, it keeps it out of the way. And I guess if you had to, you know, if you wanted a little extra length out of it, you could extend it. It doesn't really affect anything but open up the USB charging port to where possibly some debris or something could get in there, water, whatever. But it might give you a little extra reach on the light and uh, it still works. So, you know, it doesn't have to be closed to work. But when it closes, make sure you push it all the way flush so that O-ring seals and so you're waterproof um, with that. I really like that. It's easy. It's convenient and it still keeps the package small and you don't have to worry about some flimsy little rubber tab that you pluck in and out and eventually is going to tear off or get weak and, and still let moisture in. You know, O-rings are replaceable, which is a nice feature. I'm sure you could find some if you ever had to at your local hardware store or Walmart or just call Streamlight. They have excellent customer service. They'll send it right out to you. And or a brand new light, you know, whatever happens. I've had nothing but good experience with Streamlight products and their customer service. You know, I, I like Surefire as well too, but you're going to spend most of the time double for their products. And I think Streamlight, as far as quality goes, is right up there with them. And it's a lot more inexpensive. So nice rubberized tail cap. You have either the option of momentary or you can click it and leave it on for a constant. I really like that. Uh, it's got two settings, a low and a high. On high, you have a runtime of about one and a half hours. And on low, you have a runtime of about three and a half hours. Now, I don't necessarily know what low is. Low is what always comes on first. This is low. But it's obviously less than the high, which is 250 lumens. And for a light this small... That's pretty decent. Now, I know there's lights this size and maybe even smaller that put out higher lumen counts, but they're going to have less battery life most of the time, or they're going to be a lot more expensive for, you know, what you're getting. You know, if you want some Master Blaster lightsaber in your pocket, you're usually going to have to pay for it if it's, you know, worth its weight. So, to have a light that that is this small... This compact, lightweight, it weighs only 1.2 ounces, and it's got a length of 3.87 inches. So just under 4 inches, basically an ounce. Um, I don't know if that's just the housing or if it's including the battery, but that's the specs that I grabbed off of Streamlight's website. It is extremely light, though, in the hand, and obviously the battery is in it. The battery itself is a lithium, lithium ion cell, and it uh, comes with one, obviously. It's a proprietary battery. I'm not the uh, the most well versed as far as batteries and battery types go. Obviously, I know you know double A, triple A, you know CR one twenty three, all that stuff, nine volts, whatever it may be. Uh, this one is none of those, and it's definitely a more proprietary. You know, got to go to the camera store to get one. Um, it's rechargeable only. You can't just put a, a AAA in here. It's not going to work. So, you know, there is that, but it's meant to be used with the charger. It's not meant to be, you know, a replaceable battery unit. And that's the whole thing about it. And there's a lot of cool things about that. And there's a couple detractors about that as well that we'll get into in a little bit. But back to some of the specs. The beam distance on it is rated for 68 meters. Max Candela, we're looking at uh, 1150. And we've already went over the length and the weight. The deep carry pocket clip. Uh, it's, a, it's available like most stream light pocket lights or keychain lights or things like that in a few different colors. This one specifically, obviously black. Then we're looking at coyote, blue, and red. And uh, they go for about 30 bucks. And I think that's awesome because, again, Streamlight, quality products, excellent warranty service, excellent customer service. I do believe they are, the pieces and parts are made in China and they're assembled here. So your, your money's still kind of staying in the country uh, if you're a U.S. citizen. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on it. But 
that is what I what I understand from my readings. So it, it's not like a surefire where it's 100% made in the U.S. and this, that, and the other thing. But still kind of, sort of. It's like having a Browning High Power that's made in Belgium but assembled in Portugal type of deal. You know, it's, eh, it's good enough. But that all depends, I guess, on your stance. But regardless, the Streamlight MicroStream has always been a great light. It's always been great for EDC, and a lot of guys carry it. You know, a lot of just gear junkies like me and you, you know, gun guys, knife guys, EDC guys, you know, they got a, they got a, maybe a gun on, pocket knife, a multi-tool, a flashlight, just standard tools and things to get you through the day and back home safe or to be able to get tasks done throughout the day. You know, a flashlight is an extremely helpful tool. And having a nice, small light and very capable one at that on your person at all times is excellent i mean you can do a lot of things with a flashlight obviously the obvious but bad guys are like cockroaches and they don't like light so you know this can help so again here's the low you have to double tap uh, in a relatively quick speed to get to high. So let's see if we could demonstrate that. I know this isn't the best and I don't have the greatest, you know, software and all that to be, you know, doing this. But let's see here. Low. All right, there's high. So you can see that change. There's a decent hot spot and then there's a good amount of spill around there. This is the 250 lumens. I've got lights on here in the studio. So you're not going to be able to get the full effect you know, and I, I'm not going to be able to cut scenes and show you outside like Mr. Guns and Gear. Here's the fence. Here's the dog. And this is how far it is. And But take my word for it. This is a quality light. It's got a decent enough hot spot and a decent enough spill, especially for the size. And 250 lumens is nothing to sneeze at. If you think about it, the TLR-1 is a 300 lumen weapon light. And 300 lumens in the face is definitely enough to temporarily blind somebody. So 250, it's only 50 lumens less. It's good enough, especially for a small little light like this that you're going to have on you no matter what. And that's the thing, too. In places that you can't have a gun, you can't have a knife, pretty much you can always have a flashlight. And like I mentioned before, you can use it as an impact weapon, like a coup baton type of deal. And then there's the lighting purpose. You can see where you're going. You can see what you're doing. So you're going to be safer just off of that. Plus, you might be able to you know, get it in somebody's eyes and either attack or evade or get out of there because of that, because of the brightness up close. You might be able to shine a light on somebody to where, you know, if it was complete darkness, maybe they try something, but now that you can see them and identify them, they're just going to go away. You know, there's a lot of good reasons to have a light on you just to get, you know, a job done. You drop your keys in your in the parking lot. You know, it's dark. Oh, let me find them. You know, you're you're a mechanic, you're working on a car, and you need a tiny little light to get up into this little crevice so you can see what you're doing. You know, if you're a hiker and you're hiking, you know, obviously you'll probably have a headlamp, maybe a bigger, more powerful light, you know, but this is a nice little backup. You know, in case two is one, one is none, three is even better, that whole deal, it's lightweight, it's small, and what's really cool is because it's USB chargeable, you can charge it in your car, you can charge it off a portable battery bank, which is very common nowadays. I know I keep a couple in my EDC bag, you know, so you can do that. Also, if you have a solar charger, like a little solar charging panel, you know, a lot of bug out bags and EDC bags consist of this. You don't need electricity because people are going to be like, oh, well, what happens when you don't have electricity? The power's out or it's a, an apocalyptic situation. If you have a solar panel, a working one, you know, a solar panel charging, or maybe even a hand crank radio. Yeah, it might be a son of a bitch to, you know, charge this thing up. But if that's all you got and you got to make it work, you don't have to worry about finding batteries. You don't have to worry if they're, if they're dead or not. You don't have to worry about carrying all that extra weight because you could just have this and your charging device use the power of the sun and recharge this. I believe I read somewhere that it's good for about 300 charges. So if you use this every day, um, which I haven't yet because I carry a Streamlight uh, Stylus Pro every day. It's about this much longer. It's about the same width. Uh, it's an older model. I think it's only 90 lumens. And uh, it's great. And that's definitely more than enough for an EDC task. It's definitely not a fighting light 
where you're really going to blind anybody. But it's bright enough to see what you're doing. It's bright enough to see the sights on your pistol. It's bright enough to identify a threat. It's bright enough to pick the keys off the floor that you just lost in the parking lot, you know, under your car. And it, it, it's great. And it takes AAA batteries, I believe two of them. So, you know, you have to have the batteries. you got to pay for the batteries. They will run out eventually. Now, given my Streamlight uh, Stylus Pro, at least, I mean, I've had the same batteries in it for probably over a year, and I use that thing almost every day, a few times a day, and they still haven't needed to be changed. So, they last. But like I was saying, with the, with the multi-purpose and, and the versatility of being able to charge this, I think that's awesome, especially with the solar power aspect, you know, especially in a survival situation or a camping situation or, you know, just whatever. You're out in the middle of nowhere and all you have is the sun for a power source. If you have a solar charger, you can do it. And, and I think that's awesome. And again, they said, I've, I believe reading that, you know, it's only good for 300 charges. And that may be a high estimate. That may be a low estimate. It might be right on the money. I'm not so sure that the 300th time that you charge this thing, that after that it's just going to die on you. And if it did, you could probably get it warranted, fixed, replaced by Streamlight. Um, at least at a discount, I don't know for sure. But like I said, they've got excellent customer service and they stand behind their products. And uh, honestly, if you're using this thing that much to where it does go out on you, for the 30 bucks you paid for it, you definitely got your money's worth. Now, the way that I see myself using this pack is picking up some solar panels, a uh, little solar, you know, charging panels or banks and keeping this with that amongst other electronic devices that are rechargeable in a bug out bag or in a get home bag or in a survival bag or in a camping bag, something like that. I think I'm going to pick up a couple of these because I think that's just the, the coolest thing to be able to do that where you're not battery dependent. Now, obviously, yes, it still has a battery, but it's not, you know, a disposable thing you know, for the most part, you know, it obviously is, but it's not like, oh, well, I need to get some triple A's. We got to run to the store, run to the gas station. What if you can't, but you can charge it off the sun, you know, with the proper apparatus. So I think that's really cool. I think that's a, a very, you know, disregarded strong point of this light from other videos that I've seen on it. And it, that's kind of what I figured when I was looking at it to begin with. You know, maybe I'll pick it up. I'll try it out. And I've been very impressed with it. You know, it's lightweight. It's small. It's compact. It, it's bright. 250 lumens. It's got good throw, good spill, good hot spot. It's a quality company that stands behind their products. You know, for the money, 30 bucks, you get your charger. You get a little lanyard. And you get a quality made light that's durable to stand up to everyday tasks. And you know, out in the wilderness, you know, it's waterproof, it's, it's, it's shockproof, it's built well out of good materials, and I think it could be an excellent um, backup for a law enforcement officer, or maybe anyone in the military, you know, obviously they're going to have their big whiz-bang lights, but what if those go, go down? What if they run out of batteries? What if they run out of their own charge? You could have this. At least you can see where you're going and what you're doing and who else is where and doing what. And I think this thing is awesome. For the 30 bucks, definitely go out and grab one. Completely, totally, 110% recommended. I know the video is getting a little bit long, guys, so we're going to cut it off here. But I'm pretty stoked on it. I'm definitely going to do an update video with it. I kind of want to um, experiment and see, give it a full charge see how long it takes for it to lose the charge and then how long it takes to charge it back up to full power and uh, just an overall durability you know how long is it going to last you know is is there going to be issues with the charging port you know if it if it does get a little dirty or, or something happens is it just going to fail you know because that could be if this is something you're dependent on in a bug out bag or something like that you know in the instance that i explained it as maybe that's a weak point who knows but i'm going to test it this is an overview, giving you the specs, the details, bringing it to the channel. I think it is new of this year. I haven't seen them before. I just ordered one. And uh, we're going to get back to you with an update. Leave all the comments down in the comment section below. Check out the description box below for all the links. If you shop with some of those, I do get a kickback. It does help the channel so I can get more gear in to review for you guys. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, participate. Let me know what you want to see, what you don't like, anywhere in between. And as always, guys, 
Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.